This is the Rush 2.0 series. When we unveiled the Rush series, it established a high watermark for backpacks. But we didn't rest on our laurels. We engineered our next iteration based on responses from around the globe and set another new standard with the Rush 2.0. With a hidden compartment, padded laptop storage, and three different sizes to choose from, this backpack is loaded with features that are practical, modular, and innovative. Choose from 24, 37, or 55 liters of capacity, all with standard eyewear and hydration compartments, as well as a removable backboard. The backpack that launched a million missions is gearing up to conquer a million more. Whether you're setting out for duty or adventure, the only limit to the Rush 2.0 series is your imagination. This is the Rush 2.0 series. This is the Mystery Ranch two-day assault. It's a 27 liter pack loaded with features for travel or everyday carry. External features on this pack include dual water bottle pockets on both sides, dual front compression straps, molly webbing on both sides, fully adjustable Futura harness, and a removable waist belt. The lid also has two separate compartments secured with weatherproof urethane zippers, as well as loop Velcro for morale patches. Access into the main compartment of the bag is through our signature three zip, which allows the user to simply rip open the top or use the center zip to gain access to the main bag. Internal organization includes two zipper detail pockets on each side, as well as two long vertical pockets for additional hydration reservoirs should you need them. There's a padded laptop sleeve on the body panel, as well as a separate divider for a tablet on the front. The laptop sleeves also comes with a tab to hang in a hydration reservoir on the body panel. Laptop or tablet can either be accessed from inside the bag or through the long urethane coated zipper along the body panel. The two-day assault comes in two sized yokes, either a small medium or a large extra large, and is available in four colors, coyote brown, forest green, foliage, and black. And to scale, I'm five foot 11. Hey guys, welcome back to Condor TV. My name's Mike, and today we're gonna be going over the 125 three-day assault pack. This pack was designed for a single person to live out of basically for three days, but from personal experience, you can actually get seven to eight days out of it if you pack it correctly. This pack is available in black, tan, red, OD, OD Digital, ATAX AU, ATAX FG, Multicam, and ACU. It has a cubic unit space of 3,038 inches, and that's all dispersed over seven different pockets. Starting with the top, there is a carry handle, as well as the shoulder straps are padded with the webbing vertically down one horizontal on the top with the D-rings. Also a strap to go across your chest, better secure it with a removable waistband with buckle. Now the padding on the back of this pack is to provide extra comfort as well as hold your two three liter hydration packs that also have holes that go up and out the sides of the main compartment so you can run the hoses over the shoulder straps. Now, the main compartment opens up and has two mesh pockets on the front side of it, as well as straps to strap in, maybe a lap laptop or any other kind of gear you have. The other front pouch opens up and has two radio pouches, as well as pen and three different slots for maps and documents. This lower horizontal pouch unzips with two mesh pockets as well. This one divided into three sections, this one with a zipper. It also has two side pockets that open up for general storage space. The front of the pack also has a small slender slim pocket right here for documents or anything else you need to throw in there. And this panel is also loaded with webbing and hook and loop for a name tape or blood type or anything like that or any other modular pouches you want to add as well as the webbing along the side pockets. 
The pack has two compression straps on each side of it that help you compact your pack down and reduce your profile in combat environment. On the bottom of the three day assault pack, there's grommets on each pouch that allow drainage in case you get full of water or wet. And there's also the webbing along the bottom if you want to attach a butt pouch or any other kind of modular pouch along the bottom of the pack. We already discussed tier one earlier that was what it's on my body. Tier two is in my butt pack or my secondary equipment. Right now for my tier three, I'm using for an example here, a Maxpedition Falcon 2 rucksack. Everything that we're gonna be going over here is the basics. What you're gonna have in here is gonna be totally mission dependent and how long you'll be out in the field. On the outside of this thing, I've got my poncho. In addition to using it in a conventional sense for protecting yourself from rain, it could also be used for shelter construction. It could be used for making a field expedient litter for cows evacuation and it could even be used for water crossing if you construct a poncho raft with it. So with all the uses your poncho has, I strongly recommend you carry one of these even if you're just going on a short trip because it may turn into a longer one than you expected. So that's my poncho on the outside right there. On my first external pouch, I've got my water purification gear, I've got my bug juice, and I've got my foot powder, and I've got several pairs of spare socks on the inside of here. My upper pouch right here, be a secondary pair of binos, dummy corded in. Inside my main pouch, or my secondary pouch now, I've got spare water bottles. I've got MREs, they're broken down. Inside my main compartment now is how I sustain myself for how I sleep at night. I've got my poncho liner. I discussed the poncho earlier. One of my best friends told me that the two best things that come out of the Vietnam War was a P-38 can opener and a poncho liner, and he definitely was not wrong. So this goes with the poncho uh, for your sleeping gear. Also in the main compartment, I've got my rain jacket. I've got small toiletry items, and also I've got more MREs in here. So this is just the basics of what you would want in your tier three equipment for a short-term mission. Everything is gonna be mission-based, on the duration and the environment that you're working in. To understand the AMAP-3, you need to know its origins. Designed for special forces whose mission sets changed drastically and quickly, a more versatile pack was needed that could do more than ordinary packs. In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into what the AMAP-3 gives you over regular assault and EDC packs. The pack has Milspec Cordura brand nylon, YKK zippers, and everything you know to expect from an Agilite product. But let's get into the unique features. First, let's take a look at the outside of the pack. This area is built for placards that connect just as they would on a plate carrier with either buckles or G-hooks. It lets you add volume to your pack that doesn't come at the expense of internal storage. If you're switching up between placards, this gives you a place to put whichever one you're not using. Also, in a firefight or a mission, a team member could grab a mag, flashbang, or any other gear they need access to in a hurry. This new laser cut loop area gives you a large space for rear ID and agency panels. And here we have a nice admin zip pocket for storing your smaller items. Moving down, we have an all new beaver tail system that does several things. Firstly, if you're not using this to store a helmet or clothing, you can roll it down and it becomes an additional external admin pocket. When in use, the beaver tail gives you an additional 8 liters of storage space. It's made to fit any size helmet, and it's also perfect for carrying even more gear externally such as jackets, spare uniforms, and other items. You can even use the beaver tail the same time you have placards attached. There are additional harness points in case you are running a heavier load so you can cinch things down nice and tight. Another clever feature we've added is our movable buckle system with multi-directional attachment points. You can carry sniper mats, sleeping bags, or tripods on the underside of the pack, but also move the buckles to the side of the pack for vertical carry. The bottom mil-spec buckles have an unlocking mechanism for quick directional changes. The reason we've made it so adaptable is that it's built for people with constantly changing mission sets and travel schedules who needed one pack to do abundantly more without being big, bulky, or heavy. Up top we have our carry handle and our ambidextrous cables and antenna exit ports for both right and left handed shooters. And over here we have our hydration tube exit port. Moving to the back of the pack we have our fusion foam comfort padding. It's the same combination of foam padding that we use on our plate carriers. As you can see we designed the back system with an air channel for optimal airflow. Contrary to previous generations of AMAP, 
The AMAP 3 comes with Fusion Foam shoulder straps as standard that go on and off in seconds. Now let's talk about attaching the AMAP 3 directly to an Agilite plate carrier, why you'd want to do that, and we'll also explain how to attach it to non-Agilite plate carriers. Afterwards, we'll go into how it works as a standalone assault pack and EDC pack. Attaching your AMAP 3 to your plate carrier means that your entire gear and survival sustainment system is one grab away. It also means that in a gunfight, you don't have shoulder pads on top of shoulder pads creating unnecessary bulk. While there are other packs that can attach directly to plate carriers, their attachment methods are usually very clumsy and time consuming. The AMAP 3 goes on and off in seconds, it's rock solid and makes this feature practical and relevant to adapt on the fly. You simply remove the shoulder straps, move the rear strip to its designated internal stow area, then line up the rear hook with the loop on the rear of your plate carrier and connect the buckles. For heavier loads, you can connect the shoulder tabs using the load lifters on your plate carrier. For non-Agilite plate carriers, we offer a very simple conversion kit that gives you all the relevant attachment points and can be retrofitted in minutes to any plate carrier with Molly. Now, let's talk about the AMAP 3 in backpack mode. You can reattach the shoulder straps in seconds. This is useful because top teams carry around expensive and classified equipment and often run ops out of other people's bases. The ability to keep your sensitive gear with you at all times but be able to transition to full gear at a moment's notice is critical. Let's move on to the pack's interior. The pack now features a new clamshell opening and fully loop interior so that you can customize it with any hook backed pouches. In the rear, we have a designated pocket for a 3 liter hydration bladder as well as the AMAP 3's designated soft armor insert. We live in times when anything could happen anywhere and it may be up to you to protect yourself or your family. The AMAP 3's ballistic insert, which is a collaboration with Premier Body Armor, gives you an extra layer of protection downrange and ballistic 3A protection downtown. Moving on to the side, we have a place for your chem lights, pens, multi-tools, markers, and other items. If you want to go full EDC, the AMAP 3 has an optional EDC insert consisting of a padded laptop sleeve and admin panel. The padded sleeve can fit up to a 15-inch laptop, tablet, or other smart devices. The admin panel has designated spots for your laptop charger, mouse, and smartphone. Alternatively, you can run it in a completely different setup. Going back to the outside of the pack, here on the side we have Bartek Mali to attach additional pouches. It also serves as additional incremental harness points for your beaver tail hooks, depending on the size of your load. Part of the secret to the AMAP 3's inordinate comfort, versatility, and functionality is that this system has been refined and perfected via constant feedback from real daily Israeli missions over so many years. Since this is the third generation of AMAP, we really got a chance to perfect and optimize the system and give you way more than generic tactical packs. It has traveled many miles and crossed borders into some of the world's most dangerous places in order to bring you the most intelligent and versatile pack on Earth.